There was a cruel law made on Ephesus, that if any merchant of Syracuse was seen in the city of Ephesus, he was to be put to death unless he could pay a ransom. Aegean, an old merchant of Syracuse, was discovered in the streets of Ephesus and brought before the duke either to pay his heavy fine or receive sentence of death. Most honorable duke, I do not have the money to pay the fine. Well, what brought you to the city of Ephesus in the first place? Well, it all started with a voyage long ago. I was on a ship with my wife, my twin sons, and their twin servants. There arose a terrible storm. Me and my wife were separated from each other, each with one son and one of their servants. And I haven't seen my wife, other son, and his servants since. Seven years ago, my son left with his servant to go find their brothers. Since they have not returned, I left Syracuse in search of my son. I'm sorry, sir. I pity you. I cannot alter the law for your punishment, but I will grant you one day to come up with the money to pay your fine. Thank you, dear Duke. Aegean's twin boys looked exactly alike, and they were given the same name of Antiphorus. And to make things even more complicated, the twin servants looked exactly alike, and they were given the same name of Dromio. As it so happened, Antiphorus and Dromio of Syracuse arrived in Ephesus, where the lost Antiphorus and Dromio had lived for the last twenty years. Dear wife Adriana, I am feeling rather sad. Why is that, Antiphorus? I feel so sad that I do not remember my father or my mother. Yes, that is very sad. I was so very young when I was separated from my father and twin brother, and my mother was stolen from me. However, I am a very rich man, and it pleases me that I was distinguished in the army. And you married me. And what about me? Yes, Adriana and Romeo, I am very lucky to have you two. Let's look in the city of Ephesus for our lost mother and brothers. Here, Dromeo, take this money and find an inn where we can dine and stay at while I look around the city. I'll return as quick as I can. Did I hear that you're visiting Ephesus? You're not from Syracuse, are you? Yes, I am. Why? We have a law here in Ephesus that if any person from Syracuse enters the city, they have to be arrested. You'll have to say you're from somewhere else. Thank you for the advice. Oh, there you are, Antipholus. Wow, that was fast. My mistress sent me to bid you come to dinner. These jokes are so last season. Where did you leave the money? I don't know what you're talking about, but the meat will be cold if you don't come home. What mistress are you talking about? Uh, your wife, sir. Your jokes aren't funny. I have no wife. And where's the money? Please, sir, let's make jokes at dinner. We have to go now. This isn't funny. I have no wife. Ow! Ow! Please stop, sir. Ow! I must tell the mistress. Mistress! Mistress! What do you need and where's my husband? Your husband won't come to dinner and he says he has no wife. What? He must be in love with someone else. Sister, we don't know that he loves someone else. Don't jump to conclusions. Then what can I do? Why won't he come to dinner? Why don't we go look for him and see for ourselves? What's wrong with Dromeo? He must have lost the money. That's why he's acting so strangely. I'll go to the inn to look for it. Hmm? What? Dromeo, did you find the money? What are you talking about? I found you, my husband. What? Who are you? Why are you asking me these kinds of questions? Remember when you used to love me, and now you love someone else? What are you talking about? I'm not your husband. How could I have lost your love? You are coming home with me now! I just can't believe it. After all this time, you've been loving someone else. I just can't believe it. What's going on? Did I, like, marry this lady in my sleep or something? I don't want any interruptions tonight. Go see what the matter is.
I'm sorry, but the lady of the house wants no disturbances. You're going to have to leave. How come no one will let me in? This is my house. I'm sorry, but the master of the house is already dining with the lady. What? Who is the man dining with my wife? Ugh, I can't deal with this right now. Let's go eat somewhere else and I have other business to deal with. Goldsmith, I need a gold chain as soon as possible. Yes, Antiphilus, I will bring it to you as soon as it's ready. <laughs> I'm glad we got away from that crazy lady and crazy house. Yeah, even the servants were weird. Get our belongings. We're going to leave this place. Here's the gold chain you ordered, Antiphilus. I didn't order a gold chain. You just ordered this gold chain, and I need you to pay me because I owe someone else money. Here, take it. Just bring me the money as soon as you can. What is wrong with everyone in this town? I don't know, sir. You owe money, goldsmith. I have come to either collect the money or take you to jail. Antifolus owes me money for his gold chain. Once he pays that to me, I can give you the money. I'm going to go pay for the food, sir. Okay, sounds good. Hey, there's Antifolus now. I need the money for the gold chain. Did you get it? Why should I pay you if you haven't given me the gold chain yet? I just gave it to you. Well, you can clearly see that I have no gold chain. It seems to me that you both don't have any money, so you're both gonna go to jail. Dromeo! Antifolus? Dromeo, go to my wife Adriana and tell her that I need money to get out of jail. Okay? Your husband, Antifolus, needs money to get out of jail. <sighs> Fine, here's the money. Here's the money for you to get out of jail. Wait, why aren't you in jail? What are you talking about? How come you're not packing up for us to get ready to go? Hey, Miss Dantafolis, sir. My father wants to, you to come to the shop to get the stuff you bought. Hey, Antifolis, don't forget to give me the chain that you promised to give me. I don't know what you're talking about or who you are. This is a town of witches and sorcerers. Let's get out of here. If you don't give me that chain, I'm going to tell your wife. And your husband promised to give me a gold chain. Pardon me, ma'am, but your husband has debts to pay or else he's going to go to jail. But I gave that money to Dromeo already. Fine, here's the money. It is obvious that you have gone mad. I'm going to lock you up into a room and send for a doctor. I've been falsely accused. Where's Dromeo? He can tell you the truth. Antifolis is right. Ah! You both have gone mad. I'm throwing you both into the room. Finally, now I can call the doctor. Adriana, I just spotted Antifolis and Dromeo roaming the streets. What? But I just locked them up. Show me where they are. There. There's my lunatic husband. Get them. It's that crazy lady who thinks I'm her husband. We have to get out of here. Come with me. You can hide in my house. Where is my husband? I demand that you bring them back. What is going on? Why are you chasing those men? It's my husband and his servant, and they have gone mad. What is the cause of this madness? Has he lost his money? Has a close friend died? I don't think any of those things have happened. Maybe you are the cause of his madness. What do you mean? Perhaps he has fixed his affections on some other lady than you, his wife, and that has driven him to the state. I have been thinking that he's been in love with another lady. Have you asked him if this is so? Of course! I tell him every day. It's the only thing I talk about. Well, it is obvious then that your jealous fits have made your husband mad. Oh, it is true. I have caused my husband's madness. You there! The day is almost done. Do you have your money? Tell the duke I could not find the money. Then you must be executed. There is my wife. She has falsely accused me of being mad and has locked me up in my own house. I demand justice. Yeah, justice! Antifolus, I have found you. I need you to pay my ransom or else I'll be executed. I don't know you, old man. I don't even remember who my father is. 
We, he was separated from me when I was just a wee lad. Oh, what's what? going on? What? Maybe he I wonder what's mine. going on. I wonder... What's going on? I don't know. What are all these people doing out here? I have figured it out. The mystery has been solved. Ajian, these are your two lost sons and their servants. Oh, my sons, I have found you. Group hug, everyone. If you're Ajian, then I'm your wife. Mother! Mother! Wife! Nice hair, bro. Thanks. I'm so sorry, Antiphilus. I guess you truly aren't mad. Now, since we have solved the mystery, let's get married. Okay. I freely pardon you, Aegean. Let's live here forever. Yay!